Welcome back to another Longshot StarCraft 2 broadcast, and I am your host, Longshot here, casting this 1v1 between Skin Job and Bad Mofo, but I'm going to be here casting with Kaleido, one of my good friends. So what's up, man? How's it going, Longshot? How I'm you doing, doing today? Doing all right. You know, it's been a long day. Uh, I definitely had to do some errands, had to get my oil changed, and had to, you know, just do some home stuff. But you know, I'm here. I'm back, and I'm ready to cast. That's right, people. Oh so, yeah, dude. I'm so excited. So am I. I'm so happy to be back. I mean, it's been a long time. I actually was out for work for uh, quite a bit of time. Like, uh, I went and I was actually out of town. That's why I wasn't able to cast. So I'm definitely glad to be back. So, right now, uh, this game is uh, going to be a 1v1 again. It's going to be Skin Job spawning as Zerg in the left side of the map. This map is Slag Pits. And as you can see here, we have a Bad Mofo. His opponent uh, is going to be spawning in the right hand side of the map. And so, let's see what's going on here. Uh, Skin Job is actually going to be getting Extractor first. So, yep, Extractor first. Going to get his speedlings as fast as possible. Going to get a little map control, you know, and he's cross positions, so he's feeling very, very safe right now. Yeah, definitely, and he's going to be actually sending out that early drone over to his base, which I think is a, a great uh, tactic for uh, Zerg to just kind of get an, a vision of what the uh, Terran player is going to have up on that ramp, but Mo has not blocked in his ramp, so he needs to block it off, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it in time, and that drone is going to get a full scout in his base. Absolutely, and obviously this is crucial for the Zerg. He gets to see the timing on the barracks, gets to have a bunch of SCVs get pulled off here and start engaging. That's right. Well, there, this drone is actually going to be winning it? No! The, the SCV actually does get away, and the drone is going to be pushed back by a full health, busty uh, SCV. Going to be pushing him as far as... He can away from the base while he's, that drone recovers his life. But Mo is actually going to be going in and getting another full scout in the base. But he has not seen. Oh, but now he finally saw that uh, spawning pool. So He's going to see the spawning pool finish. So he knows the exact timing. He knows he's not safe to be in this base anymore. Definitely. It's going to be difficult to stay alive, especially on the creep. But uh, I guess... Uh, Skin Job is actually going to be putting down the expo, but gets denied, and then finally gets, gets to, it actually puts down the expo. So, definitely. Could have microed that a little bit better. He actually could have delayed that expo quite a bit because there's nothing else. Yeah. But, but these two Zerglings are finally going to be popping out and taking out this SCV. This SCV cannot hide from those Zerglings, but he does have the speed advantage. But what is he doing? He's actually going to be going into the base on the creep where the, the speed actually assists those Zerglings and gets taken out by those two Zerglings. So, so as now Mo is getting his factory. Yeah, he is getting his factory. Going to be swapping that factory for the tech lab on the barracks at the front. Now, what are your thoughts on this, though? Like, is this is this this seems like a very defensive move for Mo? It is absolutely a defensive move. He wants to get his siege tanks as soon as possible, which you know, obviously at that point you're you're turtling up, guaranteed. Yeah, and as you can see, he's right. He's actually going to be getting the switch. He's just going to be getting that siege tanks, but. Mo is going to be putting down a Roach Warren? This is new play from him. Not very uh, standard from what we've been seeing him in previous matches. So, uh, thoughts on this? This is an interesting idea. Again, this is probably part of the mind games, you know? He's doing a completely different build. Usually he'll go Banelings, which are a lot better against this ta tank marine stuff that standard Terran play is. But... Roaches, roaches is interesting. If he gets enough roaches early on and busts through, he can do some serious, serious damage. That is correct, because you know if if Mo doesn't have enough siege tanks behind his uh, infantry, it's definitely going to be problems for Mo because those uh, once you get close in with those roaches on those uh, siege tanks, it's definitely going to be a one-sided game. Absolutely, and roaches are so good against marines, especially yeah. roach speedling. It's just so good against marines. Definitely, but I guess, uh, you know, Skin Job actually is going to be on the defensive as well, going to be putting down two spine crawlers at his expansion. I, I, I actually kind of like this play because uh, we've seen in the past Mo be very aggressive with uh, his infantry, and uh, I guess Skin Job has learned his lesson. Right, but he also did scout the factory. He knows there's not going to be any super early aggression 
I assume. Maybe he's expecting Hellions. You know what? That's not a bad play if you're expecting Blue Flame. You see a factory with Tech Lab, you might expect some Blue Flame Hellions. Definitely. A little scary, you're going to get some Spine Crawlers. I'm okay with that decision. Yeah, this is good. But as you can see here, we have Bad Mofo going to be pushing out with two tanks and about, what was that, six Marines? This is a small force, but he, but Skin Job did see it since he had that uh, Zergling at the Zelnaga Watchtower. It's going to be pushing up, and <laughs> I mean, they are in formation, people. Tank in the front and Z <laughs> Marines, but he really needs to siege up those tanks. But Skin Job is really trying to get that Overlord in, and he, he does. He gets it out of there, but the oh, but the roaches are in, and the tanks just get be taken out so quickly by those roaches and these these Terran. That was rings. a terrible, terrible place to oh, see. Honestly, man. right on in front of the creep. That's so, so, so dangerous. You do not want to be that close. You need to siege the tanks further back and slow push to the front. Definitely, I completely agree with that. I mean, he shot a. He should have probably actually sieged up where he was trying to attack that Overlord. Yeah, and absolutely. Then Against that wall, he would have been safe from Zergling surrounds and probably could have done a little more damage. Still, though, that engagement wasn't the best idea to begin with. But, I mean, as you can see, so many roaches being made. I mean, he's already got, what, 10 roaches on the field. Wow. I mean, the unit count shows only six Marines from Mo and one Marauder, whereas, like, Skin Job is just taking a commanding lead. But... Well, I he guess... lost so much in that engagement, actually. Like, losing two siege tanks in the early game is so, so behind now. I have a feeling, I, I, I guess we didn't catch it, but Skinjob must have lost an Overlord somewhere, because yeah, he, he is did. supply blocked somewhere. Uh, did you see it? Where was that? I did not see where it went down. I assume he sent it in the base to scout. That's, yeah, that's, a, that's a possibility. When you send one in to scout, you should definitely be resupplying. Yeah, he, he was uh, sending an overlord in the back, and you could see the vision. I guess it was taken out by that missile turret in the mineral line. I like this placement of this missile turret because he is prepping just in case for that Muta harass. Yep, definitely good placement. Definitely good timing on that, too, because it's about time for Mutas to come knocking on the door, if they exist. Yeah, but I guess uh, he's going to be sticking with this roach army. Uh, he's going to be getting a few more Zerglings, but he's droning up very hard and going to be taking a third expansion. I love this play. I actually love this timing on this expo. He knows he's ahead. He was just waiting on the money to be able to expo. This is great, great play. He's just getting more and more ahead. Yeah, I mean, Bad Mofa's only, he's already starting up his uh, second expansion, finally pulling off all of those SCVs, he's going to be putting it on the mineral line, and it's just, he's, he's now, in my opinion, a little bit behind, but not too far. But it, but Mo uh, actually Skin Job has definitely got the advantage right now. Yeah, he's he's definitely behind. I mean, there's no no question about it. You and can't lose two tanks and still be okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, not even just that. I mean, he does Skin Job. It, I love this Overlord placement at his expansion. He does see the mineral timing on this. He knows that the refineries and uh, the the mining is occurring at this expansion. Definitely, definitely great placement and good vision. Absolutely, I agree with that. So, um, as you can see here, let's see, we have a, an actual armory going down. Oh, where's that armory? There it is. I, I'm i kind of curious. I wonder if he's going to be getting any type of Thors out. I think that would be an awesome play by Mo if he got some Thors out. Thoughts? I think he's going for upgrades. Really? Just, yeah, he wants to win the upgrade battle. Oh, come on. I want the Thors, baby. <laughs> I want the big battle. Thors to come out and just dominate on the roaches. This is actually a good call though because if you look in the production tab, Zerg is actually just upgrading everything right now. Buying yeah. Every upgrade, so. yeah, they're getting that roach speed and the level 1 uh, missile attack and the armor. So upgrades on their ground forces but Mo feels confident right now. Um, <laughs> he's going to be pushing out. What are your thoughts on this? I'm not sure if this is going to... I think this is terrible. At least bring the tanks, man. Like This is just... Oh, well, only one tank? What I, happened to his tank production? I guess he just uh, fell... Just, uh, tank production entirely? I guess, I don't yeah. agree with this engagement at all right now. I mean, yeah, this engagement is kind of... I would use it more for a harass, but honestly, it's not going to be good for uh, <laughs> for Mo to be pushing out like this right now. Oh, he's on creep with a small bio army. This is just so, so dangerous. And look how many roaches and, and zerglings are going to be coming out. Oh my gosh, this is real bad for him right now. But actually, he's... Oh, he's going to be...